All right, we are back. We are live. We are blessed. Thank God for another day. Matt Garland here, NMLS number 58700, but better known as MG the Mortgage Guy. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Drop some gems in the comment as you enter the, the place to be, okay? Uh, we're coming back with another live episode. This is going to be a tremendous, tremendous episode that I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, again, drop some gems in the chat. If you are a real estate agent, please make sure you comment what city, state, you service. If you're a loan officer, throw that NMLS number in the chat as well. And if you're new to the channel, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all that good stuff. And then you also know you got to go to the bookstore and get you some damn books, okay? Go get House Hackonomics or the Real Estate Investors Manifesto, both Amazon best-selling books go to mgbookstore.com uh shout out to tanisha how are you today i hope all is well yes guys we are here insecure jay what up nephew <laughs> yeah yeah go on yeah go on hold hold off on the uncle com on it's just two minutes in and you're talking about uncle already all right let's hold off on that real quick so today we got a, a special episode for you guys uh we get a lot of folks who are entrepreneurs that come to the channel uh jay broadway what's going on and we have a lot of you guys who don't know how to set up your business entities properly uh you have llc's you have apps costs you have no no way no reason to set them up the wrong way because you have all this information that's available out to you but some of you are still setting up your businesses the wrong way uh, on the channel if you go to the live replays we've had so many different conversations about taxes and llc's and s corps and when I see a lot of videos out there, I always see them talking about S Corps, LLCs, how to pay yourself, but no one's really talking about the back office, right? A lot of you are using Zales, Cash App to pay your, your contractors, your employees, you're accepting uh, money via Cash App, via Zelle, which, hey, you got to get paid by any means necessary. But as business owners, not just running real estate businesses, but any type of business, you should definitely have your back office set up properly. And especially you folks who are trying to buy loans as self-employed folks. You are not showing income. You don't know how to pay yourself properly. You don't have the payroll systems. You're not doing distributions properly. There's a lot that you guys are doing incorrect, including myself at one point, right? I'm not perfect. We all make mistakes. We don't have the information. People just tell us to set up a business and don't tell us how to really pay ourselves and do all these things. And then you go do your taxes, your bookkeeping is all over the place. It's a hot mess. So today, hopefully this episode will be a solution for many of you. We're going to bring in a special guest. And I haven't done this in a while on my channel. It's just been me. And which is cool. But sometimes we got to bring in the experts as well. And I wanted to have this conversation, um, particularly with... Uh, my girl Christina from ADP, because not only do I use ADP, um, but many of my friends who run businesses use ADP. And a lot of you, when I speak to you, a lot of you don't know who to use for your payroll system. So I said, why not? Let's have a good conversation. Let's get you guys some information, some education, so that way you're setting yourself up for a prosperous business not a struggling business. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring in all the way from my green room, <laughs> my account rep at ADP, okay? And this is who I call when I have issues. I'm going to bring to the stage, y'all, and I need y'all to give her some love, okay? Drop some gems in the comment for Christina, who's the elite senior district manager for ADP. Please welcome... Christina to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Christina, how are you? Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. I'm honored that I'm a uh, first guest in a while here. I'm VIP status, I guess. <laughs> yes, Christina, you are VIP status. You are definitely a gem. Um, I've been working with you guys at ADP for you know some years now, and you guys have helped me a lot with organizing my business and getting my business back office together in which I see a lot of entrepreneurs, they don't have their back office together. Everybody got an LLC nowadays. 
but people ain't got systems, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> a lot of folks that's like true. to say, I, I, I'm a business owner, but are you really running a business, right? And that's why I needed you here on the channel to kind of break these things down about payroll systems and how to use them, the misconceptions and everything. So without further ado, introduce yourself first and foremost. How, who are you? How long have you been in the business for? Yes, of course. So as he said, I'm an elite senior district manager at ADP. I've been with ADP for over three years now. I work in the small, small business division, but I help businesses of all different sizes. I have a team at ADP that supports me that we'll get into a little bit later of, you know, what I can offer you. But, you know, really more than just a salesperson at ADP, I'm your consultant. I'm going to be your educator. I'm going to meet with all of you guys one-on-one, -on -one, learn about your business and see what exactly you need and how we can grow with you. You know, what I always like to say is we're with business owners from hire to retire you know, as anything you need, as you grow as a business owner, we have the technology and resources to help you with that. And I do want to start off by talking about ADP's mis biggest misconception. Since I am in the small business division, I know tons and tons of people that I speak with, or you just hear, you know, from word of mouth, people are like, ADP is too big for us. I feel like you guys only work with Amazon or Google or, you know, whatever it may be, these big, big companies. But in reality, all of my clients are one to 49 employees. To be honest, most of my clients are one employee. I mean, just like yeah. Matt himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, you know, that's, um, that's, you know, a lot of businesses, right? One man bands, two man show, maybe you have three people, you know, but a lot of people are starting businesses and their first per employee is going to be themselves. So it's good to hear that you guys are not just working with big box companies or, or you know, Inc. 500 companies because small businesses yeah. need the same type of service and help as well. So yeah, exactly. Before we get into the misconceptions, let's talk about what is ADP, right? What is ADP? Um, what is a payroll system for, for someone who may not be hip to this type of um, system? Yeah, of course. So ADP is going to be your human capital management company. You know, we're going to unite payroll, HR, taxes, time, benefits, everything together. You know, we're going to be your business outsource. But what exactly is payroll? You know, according to the IRS, payroll is when taxes are coming out of your pay stubs, not when you're selling money, not when you're just dropping off a check, handing someone cash, Venmo. You know, payroll is when you have the pay stub, when you're processing payroll with the payroll system, taxes are coming out on the back end, they're being sent to the IRS, you're being within compliance, which is the big, big thing. And then you're getting a pay stub, you're getting direct deposit or check the next day. It's as simple as that. Mm, okay. And you do and you guys are doing H H R everything under the blue sun for for any type of business owner. Exactly. That's what I like to say, you know, hire to retire. So, you know, just like yourself, say you start with one employee and you're looking to grow, you have to start somewhere. So you start with yourself as the one employee, you're paying yourself. But as you grow, you need HR systems, you need an employee handbook, sexual harassment training. I mean, you're not HR certified. I'm not HR certified, you know, as a business owner, and you begin to hire people, hire employees, Things are changing every day. You want to make sure you are within compliance. And ADP works with thousands and thousands. State. So we have the tools, we have the data to make sure that you are, you know, up to date and within compliance each day. But it's also we have, you know, hotlines that you can call. You're going to talk to someone that is certified in HR. Hey, you know, I have a, I have a, I have a you know, employee. They did X, Y, and Z, you know, how can I get them out the door? X, Y, and Z is pregnant. What's the rules with maternity leave? X, Y, and Z, you know, things that you're not specifically expert in, you know, ADP can handle that. So that's a, such a great, you know, asset when you are, you know, begin to onboard and hire those employees, which we can also help with. Okay. So what are some of the common challenges that entrepreneurs mm -hmm. face when they are setting up payroll? Yeah. So when they're setting up payroll, you know, there's a few different things, you know, lots of people are 
it's brand new to them because they've just been paying themselves, you know, via Zelle or Venmo. You know, there's a few different things right now. And I think the biggest thing right now when it comes to HR is hiring employees, finding the right employees for your business. We partner with Zelle, I mean, not Zelle, ZipRecruiter, Indeed, LinkedIn. We're going to help you create those job descriptions and post them. We're going to help you find those qualified candidates. But also another thing is just HR in general. Like I was saying, like people don't have an employee handbook. If you have one employee, you need an employee handbook. You want to make sure you have yourself covered. Okay. So now let's say you get, you get everything covered. You got to set up the, the employee handbooks and everything that you need. You start getting some traction out there. ADP, ADP can help you get traction. We're getting recruits in the door for your business because of the partnerships that you guys have. Now, we have all of this. How easy or how difficult is it to set up the process for someone to start, you know, implementing this payroll system from scratch? Yeah. Super easy. So I like to keep everything super, super simple. I'll start with what what do you need? You know, you're going to need an EIN, you know, a business. You'll need just a document from the IRS with your legal name, your address, your EIN number, and you'll need a form of bank proof. Those are the two things we need payroll to get set up. You're going to create a sales order with me. We're going to discuss what package is the best for you. I'm going to submit your account to ADP. It's ready within 24 hours. You and I are going to get on the phone with a specialist. You're going to have an implementation special for the first 60 days, but you're also going to have me as your dedicated rep, you know, forever. You're going to have my direct cell phone number. You could text or call me if you ever need anything. On this call, we're going to walk you through, create your username and password, get you logged in and walk you through processing your first payroll. It is so simple. It's as simple as like four steps. You click run payroll. You're just going to confirm the salaries, the hours. You're going to go to the next page. You're going to make sure that the taxes are lined up. Mm -hmm. You're going to make sure that you have the cash required in your bank account to click approve payroll. You're going to click approve. And the next day you're going to receive direct deposit or a check in your bank account. If you have checks, you know, for your employees, it'll all come signed, stuffed right to the business the next day. I like that. Or so you can do checks to your employees or direct deposit. Now, how does this work? Can you use this? Now, obviously I'm a real estate channel. So most of the folks that are probably going to watch this um, are running their own real estate businesses, whether they're real estate brokers or real estate investors, right? And if they're doing any type of work, um, they got to work with contractors and yeah. you have to pay these and you have to pay these contractors. You have to pay these vendors. And not all of these vendors want to accept credit cards. Some of them want to accept cash or check. Now, yeah. can we use, as real estate entrepreneurs who are looking to pay our vendors, can we use the same way you just described of setting up an employee, can we use this to set up for to pay our vendors as well? A hundred percent. So the process I just described is the same process for W-2 employees or 1099 employees. The only two differences is, of course, 1099s, you aren't going to be paying those taxes um, and then direct deposit. So, you know, full transparency to receive direct deposit, you need to have one W-2 employee on payroll. So a lot of owners typically use themselves as that W-2 employee, pay taxes on themselves and then get, you know, their vendors to have direct deposit as well. Some don't mind and want to receive check. You know, it's totally up to the business owner and the employee themselves to kind of decide that there. But yeah, completely same process, simple, uh, simple three steps. Now, with setting up your vendors in the system, you say you can pay them once a month, every biweekly, you can pay them. Like if a vendor does a job on a Monday, you want to get them a check or some sort of deposit by Wednesday, you can pay them that way as well, correct? Exactly. So you can set up your business in as many frequencies as you want. We do weekly, biweekly, semi-monthly, monthly, um, quarterly. You can have two frequencies if you want it for your W-2 employees and your vendors. Or if you're just like, hey, I need to go process a payroll. It's not like your locked system is completely locked when you sign up for, you know, a weekly frequency. If I wanted to pay you tomorrow, I would have to process payroll, uh, you know, as of 17 minutes ago. So 5 p.m. the day before is the cutoff to process payroll to get your employees paid the next day. I always like to say 4.30 just to be safe because you never know what could go wrong. But yeah, you uh, process payroll one day and they get paid the next day. So it's a quick, quick turnaround. Now, how does this help us 
from a bookkeeping standpoint, now at the end of the year, we're looking to have all our books and everything together for tax purposes to give to our CPAs. How does this system help us, especially with paying our 1099, our vendors? Like, does this, now are we gonna have all the, the like a reporting system, so to speak, where we can see exactly who we paid what? A hundred percent. So what's going to happen on the back end? Once you click approve, ADP, of course, is sending all those taxes to the IRS, but we're also creating your forms. Right away, you're going to have that pay stub. You're going to have several different types of payroll reports. We're going to do your quarterly form. So the 941 and then, you know, depending on the state, the other quarterly form. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the year, we're going to do your W-2s and your 1099s. If you do work with this, Did I lose you? Hold on, you went, in, you went, you went in the matrix. We have right a now. platform at ED. You went in the matrix real quick. Oh. Hold on, <laughs> you went in the matrix. Oh no, quick. all right. What's yeah, that? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hold on, we gotta rewind this now. <laughs> hold on. What's you went the, last the, the, last, the last thing I heard you said was you were talking about um, the forms and bookkeeping. Yeah, exactly. So did I say we do the end of the year forms, the 1099s, the W-2s? Yeah, repeat all of that. Perfect. So yeah, I'll repeat it. We do the pay stubs. As soon as you click approve, we're going to do those quarterly forms. You know, your 941 and depending on whatever other state you're in, the other quarterly form, depending on that, you're going to have several, several different types of payroll reports as well. You can customize them to your needs. And at the end of the year, we're going to give you your W-2 forms and 1099s. Another thing, if you do work with a CPA, a bookkeeper, accountant, whoever it may be that does handle your taxes and needs access to these reports, we have a platform at ADP that I get them connected up on. It's called Accountant Connect. They will have all of their you know, ADP clients on that platform and they'll be able to access your payroll reports directly. So anytime you know they need it or you know at the end of the year when they're filing your taxes, whatever it may be, they don't have to bother you for that. You might get confused and not know what they're talking about. They'll have direct access to those reports and can easy, easily access those for you. I love it. I love it. So basically, you're now professional. <laughs> basically, yeah. you got everything in one stop. You ain't got to be sitting here having the bookkeeping nightmare. Especially if, and again, I wanted to tie real estate into this conversation because yeah. this is a real estate channel. But, you know, again, I like to pay contractors with my American Express um, and because I like the point system and everything like that. It helps, right? Points. But a lot of contractors and a lot of people who run who these subs that we have to use in our world, they don't want to be paid because they don't want to pay credit card fees and this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. And they'll probably give you a better price if you can quote unquote, pay cash, but direct deposit or check is the same as cash. So yeah. for me, I like this system because it's much easier just to do this versus going to the bank every time and getting like a check or a certified check or writing somebody a personal check and they got to wait, you know, three to five days for it to clear. Right? Yeah. It's, and it's another a uh, quicker, efficient process. Yeah, exactly. We like to keep it simple. And another huge thing is if you are a salaried employee, if it's just yourself or if you have, you know, a few employees that are salary or just get paid the same thing each week or each biweekly, we can put you on automatic. You're not even processing payroll after the first time then. ADP is doing everything for you. You probably won't even log into your system until the end of the year when you're like, oh, my God, I need pay stubs to go get a loan or X, Y and Z. Uh, you know, everything can be automated for you if that's the case as well. So that's uh, super huge. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, right? And this is for all my entrepreneurs now who want to go out here and take out mortgages. This is why this, and this is why I wanted to have this conversation, is this can help you now possibly get approved for a mortgage, right? Because a lot of you are not paying yourselves. And when you submit your tax returns, you're writing off everything under the blue sun, which you're taking advantage of the tax code. I get it, but it hurts you when you're trying to get conventional FHA, VA financing. So if you put yourself on payroll, like Christina is saying, mm -hmm. and you now pay yourself every other week, bi-weekly, at the end of the year, you're going to have a W-2, you're going to have pay stubs. Mm -hmm. It makes you look more like a business person, and it makes lenders want to lend to you, 
right? So I, I, I really feel like everyone who's watching this who runs a business, and if you are taking distributions, you should consider putting yourself on payroll. You can save money. You're going to pay taxes, but it ultimately it's an expense now to the business, <clears throat> too, at the same time. And you don't have to worry about personal IRS issues because you're getting yourself a W-2. So exactly. I, like, I like it. I pay myself a W-2. I don't know about y'all, but I like W-2. <laughs> Take the taxes, you know, because the business, exactly. I know we're going to do what we got to do to to minimize. But your W-2, you need that. You need to be looking good on paper. If you want to get a car, you want to get a house, you want to get anything, you need to be able to say, look, this is my income. This is what is steady. This is this is where I'm at. Yeah. I have so many clients that I'm speaking to lately that are coming to me that you know, have their EA and have a legal business name, but they're trying to get a second location or even a first location to open up a business. And they're not able to do that because they don't have W-2 income. They don't have pay stubs. You know, they're coming to me. They're like, I need to start paying myself. I need to go to X, Y, and Z and show them that I have W-2 income and pay stubs for me to even open my business. You know, I live in New York City. I live in Manhattan. For me to even get this apartment, I just show the last three years of W-2s and the, my last like five pay stubs. And, you know, with ADP as an employee of ADP, obviously I get paid by ADP. I have my employee app that all of your employees would have as well. And I can easily download all of my pay stubs directly from the app and even W-2 form. So that makes it 10 times easier as well. Everything's just downloadable PDF right on your right on your phone. I love it. I love it. So let's let's talk about because we talk about W-2s and your taxes are coming out. Are there any specific tax considerations for small businesses and payroll that we should be aware of? Um, I mean, of course, like S corps are the biggest one of why they are on payroll. Um, you know, as an S corp, you are required to be on payroll because you're saving on those FICA taxes. Mm -hmm. You know, the IRS recommends you're paying yourself a reasonable salary at the end of the year. If you don't have that W two income. The IRS is going to tell you what you what you should be paying yourself. And you definitely don't want the IRS to tell you how much you should have paid yourself this year. Um, you know, of course, as ADP, we have fees. Those are all business write offs at the end of the year. You know, any of those fees that you're going to be paying to ADP for payroll to set up a retirement plan for extra HR support, like those are business write offs at the end of the year. You know, of course, I'm not a CPA or an accountant. Um, but definitely, you know, speak to them about it. They can definitely make you more knowledgeable on that fact. And they're going to recommend you have all these things lined up to make sure you are within compliance. And they'd be more than happy to uh, write that off for you at the end of the year. So as corps, you have to pay yourself a reasonable salary. LLCs, can you pay yourself from your LLC in a W-2? And are you required yeah. to do that? Are you required to do that as well? So as an LLC, it's not required. Um, you know, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. I do definitely want to say it's not required. Um, but yeah, I mean, most people do it again for all those benefits for W-2 income. If you have employees, most LLCs, you know, have employees and want to grow and expand. That's, you know, the benefit of having the HR, having direct deposit. You can't be an LLC, have 10 employees and be paying them via Zelle. You know, that's not official. You're not a real business. You're just behind the counters or whatever's going on there. But like you need all the help when it comes to HR and you need to be having the official payroll, whether, it, whether it's, you know, coming from checks or direct deposit. Okay. So what should entrepreneurs consider when choosing a payroll system or service like ADP? Yeah, yeah of course. You know, of course, I'm a huge fan of ADP. <laughs> I think you know, <laughs> a little I'm biased, huh? I'm <laughs> a big ADP fan over here. But, you know, it's really just to keep it simple. You know, um, our technology is super, super simple. Exactly the three steps that I said, it's what you're going to visually be seeing on the platform. And, you know, during our one on one call, if you want to see a demo of our platform, I'd be more than happy to do that. So that's really, you know, number one is technology. You want to make sure that it's going to be handling your taxes, keeping you within compliance and doing all those quarterly forms that I did mention. And number two that I think is really, really big as a small business owner and as you are beginning to grow is customer service. You know, we do have a 1-800 line at ADP that's open 24-7 and they're going to answer any of the questions you have. But among that, we have your implementation team that's going to be with you for the first 60 days. But of course, last but not least, you're going to have myself. 
you know, as working with me, I do take pride in my customer service. Any of my clients can text me. They can call me. You know, I always say I'll get back to you the latest within 48 hours. It's always way sooner than that. But who can say, you know, that they're on a payroll provider and they basically have a one on one contact for any issue that could go wrong that they can call at any time. You know, so I think customer service and technology are the two things that, uh, you know, you should be looking for as a small business owner when you're getting these things set up. I agree. Customer service is very important. You know, you need to be able to get somebody on the phone. And a lot of these companies don't offer what you're saying. You got to speak to the AI. You got to speak to the bot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, exactly. like speaking to everybody but who you want to speak to. Right? You're writing in chats. <laughs> it's not even understanding, like, what's going on. Yeah, like, what's happening here? So, Yara Lee, she put out a good question. She, she said she had to go back to lunch. So, I wanted to make sure I got her question. She says, how is payroll ran for people with ITIN numbers through ADP? Why is it such a, uh, a tedious task getting people with ITIN numbers on payroll? Do you guys work with folks who got the ITIN numbers? We do. We do. So I actually uh, work with a few hundred of them, actually. <laughs> That's, uh, I guess, probably one of my specialties here. But yeah, so it's the same way. You know, when it comes, the only thing that would be different is that when you are W-2 employee and we have to input your employee information, instead of putting in, you know, we don't accept ITINs in the system. So we're going to put, you know, what we call a mass social. Once you're input into the system, you're going to pay those taxes. You're going to be a regular employee. When it comes to the end of the year, you are going to send, you know, a picture of your ITIN card to the IRS and everything's going to be sorted for you. So it works exactly the same and our system can take you. Um, but yeah, super, super easy, just like I you know, said before. But if you do have more questions, you know, some people could have one offs. You know, I'd love to meet with you one on one and, you know, clear things up to make it make more sense. Yeah, you're giving out a lot of information here. I need you to throw some gems in a comment for Christina. She's giving you. Yeah, where are my gems? She we're is, throw she, the hearts in there. <laughs> throw the gems in the hearts for Christina in the comments, please. She <laughs> is giving a lot of information. All right, so uh, we got another question. When paying yourself through your business and getting a mortgage or wanting to rent, do you need to disclose that you're the business owner? So paying yourself through the business, um, you know, there's nowhere that you're like, I'm the business owner, I'm the business owner, I'm the business owner. You can put the title, whatever you want. When it comes to like wanting to rent, I'll let Matt take that one. <laughs> so yeah, so this is actually a good question, right? Um, yes, you are the business owner. So you will have to click the box that you are self-employed and this is the business and this is your title. Um, but you also, when we're doing your income calculation, if you're a W-2, then it's a W-2. If you're doing a distribution and you're getting paid a K-1, then we can use that that income as well, right? So you don't want you don't want not to disclose it because we're going to find out anyway. It's just going to be a simple business search. So you got to remember when you're going through underwriting, this is like they're doing background checks. So if you do own the business, we're going to find out that you do own the business. So you might as well just disclose it because it doesn't hurt you at all. Not at all. I feel like you should be proud. You're a business owner. Be proud. Yeah. Own it, right? Yeah, no, definitely. It's yours. You should definitely be proud. <laughs> right? Like, you got to let them know, like, look, this is what I do. <laughs> so let me see something. This is another one. Uh, Courtney, she says, is there something that I'm missing when it comes to services <laughs> provided by ADP compared to Gusto? They both seem to be great, but confused as to how the price points are so different. All right, so your competition has entered the chat. Uh -oh. <laughs> what is the difference? This is a good question. What is the di the big difference between ADP and Gusto? Why should we go with ADP over Gusto? Why is there a huge price point difference? What's going on here? Yeah, so... The price point, you know, I, I don't I have an answer for you there. You know, I wish I could call up the CEO and get an answer there. <laughs> but, you know, I'm never going to, uh, you know, trash talk a competitor. But I will definitely tell you why ADP is worth its price. And number one is our technology. We have the best technology around. We're always improving. We're always getting feedback from accountants and CPAs that use our platform in-house to process pay over hundreds of their clients. It's upgrading every day almost. You know, I've been at ADP for three years now and it's already updated a few times. You know, it's changing and it's always making sure we are, you know, giving you guys the best tools. Number two is going to be our HR support. 
you know, all those HR tools that we have, we have four different payroll packages at ADP. And in our top payroll package comes with all that HR support. And the pricing can't even be justified if you were to hire an HR team for $60,000. If you were to go get an employee handbook for thousands of dollars, when you're just going to pay a small fee each time you process payroll to get all of those items. Third, like I said, was customer service. I know several, several people that come from different payroll providers and switch over to ADP because of poor customer service. They're like, I tried to get in contact with XYZ. My payroll wasn't paid. My employees didn't get paid. My payroll reports are wrong. You know, at ADP, you'll have me as your direct rep, but I also have a huge, huge team that supports me. And then it's what we offer as well. We offer retirement plans that integrate with your payroll. We offer health benefits that integrate with your payroll. We offer workers' compensation that integrates with your payroll. I could go on and on about why, you know, ADP, of course, is the best company. I might be a little biased, um, but... A little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. It's not bad. A little. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's really just we're improving our technology every day and we have some of the best technology, customer service and, you know, tools. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Courtney came up with a follow up follow up question. If your W-2 salary is low, but your profit distributions from your company are substantial, how does that affect our banks look at you? OK, that's a good question. So you want to know if you keep your W-2 low and if you're paying yourself large distributions and you're getting paid, obviously that's going to be shown on your K-1. Now, very good question. From an underwriting standpoint, Courtney, what we're going to look at is what's the net income of that. So now when you're filing, um, and I don't want to put the wrong you know, um, form out there, but when you're filing your, your self-employed income, you're still going to be able to deduct, deduct from that. So let's just say you pay yourself a $30,000 salary, but you paid yourself $150,000 in distributions. If you tell the IRS that you still wrote off $100,000 of that, one fifty, dollars then we're only using the $50,000 of net income and then the $30,000 base salary. And it has to be consistent for two years. So now if you're getting distributions, you just can't do a distribution for one year. You got, you got to do it consistently. So as long as you're doing both simultaneously, you'll we'll be able to use that income. And on a, a self-employed side, it's always the net income. It's not the gross. The W-2 side is the gross income. Good question. Okay, we got another one. Nicole, can payroll be flexible on pay frequencies for those that have short-term <laughs> rentals? Some months are more profitable than others. Good question. So can payroll be flexible on pay frequency for those who have short-term rentals. So I guess, Nicole, you want to pay yourself a salary from the profits that you are making from your rental properties. That's definitely possible, right, Christina? As long as they have I'm the sure. money to count, right? Exactly. As long as you have money to pay yourself, it can be done. You know, with ADP, there are no contracts. So when you're setting up your payroll and you're like, okay, I want to pay myself each month or I want to pay myself bi-weekly. I want to start with bi-weekly because I'm making a lot of money right now. But in four months, I might want to change it. No problem. We can switch you to monthly in four months when profits are a little bit lower. You know, pay yourself a few times. If you do have to skip one payroll, it is not, you know, the end of the world. If you do have to stop paying yourself for, you know, a few months at a time, I would recommend, you know, terminating the account. But, you know, other than that, it's super, super flexible. You know, you can pay yourself whenever is needed. And if you need to take a break for one or two months, you only are getting charged when you are clicking approve on that payroll. Okay, I'm glad you said charge, right? What, what kind of fees does ADP have? And and if we're doing all this payroll, we're doing biweekly, weekly, like what, what do we have to spend to pay ourselves? Yeah, of course. So pricing is based off of a few things. It's depending on what payroll package you're going to pick. It's based off of frequency and number of employees. So there's always a base fee. And then per employee is typically like 3 to $4, depending on the package that you are picking. I never like to throw a number out there. You know, I always say, let's evaluate. I'm never, ever going to lose a customer to pricing because I always want to make sure that I'm giving you the solution for your business. We're going to connect. We're going to discuss what you need. 
what package is the best for you, what frequency is the best for you. I'm going to let you know how the pricing is and you're going to tell me if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to go to my finance team and make sure, you know, I definitely get that approval for you. So never, ever be scared of, you know, pricing. I know we talked before. Many people think ADP is for those bigger businesses, but trust me, we work with tons and tons of small businesses and the price is right for them. Hmm. The price is right for them. The price is right for them. The price is right for them. So it's not going to break the bank to no. have ADP as your services. Now, another mm -hmm. thing that you guys can do, you can, like you said, this is a full back end um, business solution for entrepreneurs. You can also have yourself on health insurance as well, even if you um, are a small business, correct? Correct. So you do need at least two employees. We have a few different ways at ADP to do health insurance. We have the open market. You need at least two employees. We'll get you those quotes within 24 hours. We have PEO Systems, which is a professional employer organization, and that's where you can get Fortune 500 benefits. There are more qualifications to that. You have to have 10 plus employees. You need to have 50% contribution. You need to be paying 50% of their, you know, health insurance. But you know, the overall cost is going to be a huge difference. Never like to come in and be like, we're going to save you so much money. But I will confidently say, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time we are going to be saving you money on health insurance if you have 10 plus employees and you are looking to, you know, offer help. I always say, let's take a look at it. Let's evaluate it. If it works for you, if it works for you, if it doesn't, I'm going to let you know. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste my time. But we always want to definitely evaluate it. And it's free to evaluate. So we have that option. And then if you have less than 10 employees, we do have a smaller PEO platform as well. So we have three different ways that we can look at health insurance for you. And depending on the amount of employees that you do have, I'm going to say, let's take a look at it this way and this way. And we're going to compare apples to apples and see what works best for you. And of course, it. it's all integrated through the payroll. Now, what about, so you got the healthcare set up. What about setting up retirement planning for yourself, right? Um, can Does ADP assist with like setting up IRAs and 401ks for us entrepreneurs? 100%. So we have SEPA IRAs, simple IRAs, and 401ks. You know, I work directly with the licensed retirement partner. He is a professional in this. I don't want to give away too information because he's the one that's knowledgeable in this and he's educated. We have those three different plans. It's going to be integrated directly through your payroll. The way it works is, you know, of course, we're going to meet with him one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to go into all of the numbers. He's going to get nitty gritty. He's going to tell you the benefit of each plan. But before that, he's going to learn about what your goal is with your finances. You know, everyone wants to save on taxes. That's the purpose of setting up a retirement plan, tax savings. And, you know, that's why people are setting those up today. There are so many different retirement mandates out there and different states today. You know, there's so many tax credits when it's coming to retirement plans. There's so many different things. My partner, his name is Dan. He's going to educate you guys on that. And we're going to make sure everything is set up for you properly. And that, you know, the overall win here is uh, tax savings, but that as well is integrated through your payroll and all of those like, like forms that need to be done for 401ks and plans like that. ADP is going to take care of that for you as well. Yeah, no, that's amazing. Um, that's definitely incredible. A lot of, look, hearts and gems in the comments, please, for Christina coming on the channel. Please throw some hearts and throw some gems. Hearts. Uh, the hearts yeah. We need the hearts in the building, like, ASAP. But, you know, ADP. We're is... like fans. <laughs> We're definitely locked in. So, Christina and ADP is a sponsor. If you guys know, I have the master class on November 1st and November 2nd from 7 to 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it's called the Wealth Building Blueprint. This is a two-day masterclass, and we're going to be talking about the market update going into 2024, house hacking into 2024, self-employed financing, out-of-state investing, setting up the proper business entities for investing, and how to set up your systems to manage your vendors, et cetera, right? This is sponsored by ADP. Christina will be teaching on day two of this class. So everything that we kind of spoke about today here on this live, Christina is going to actually show y'all how to really set up these systems, kind of give you the behind the scenes, behind the wall of everything, because obviously there's a lot that we're kind of touching on, 
But during the masterclass, Christine and her team, they're going to go into deep details on how to really structure this, how to really set this up. And I highly encourage you guys, go to mgmortgageacademy.com. You don't want to miss this masterclass. It's going to be phenomenal. I am looking forward to this, Christina. It's going to be amazing. Super excited. Definitely make sure you guys sign up. We're going to dive a little deeper into everything we just talked about with real live photos, real live demos. And I'm also going to have a special guest uh, for my team on. So uh, super excited for you guys to meet them as well. And they're going to educate you on, you know, other things as well. So uh, definitely come join us and you don't want to miss out on that. Now it's going to be incredible. But but for those of you who are saying that you want to uh, take advantage of or even learn more about what 880p can offer you, I just put a link in the chat. It's going to be in the description of the video as well. Um, you can go into this, click the link and you can set up, you know, um, fill out a contact form and Christina herself or one of her team members will contact you, or you can go directly to Christina's calendar. Do we want to put the calendar here or we want to save that for the class? I don't know. Or do, have we gotten enough hearts and gems? No, nah, we didn't get enough. So we're going to keep them. They can't, if you're part of the class, we'll give you the link to, to the calendar so you can get on Christina's calendar immediately. But we'll put the other link in here so that way you guys, it's kind of the same thing but you won't be able to schedule your own appointment immediately, right? Christina, they'll be able to just go on there and take a look at what's going on, right? Yeah, exactly. So you guys fill out your information there and I will get that directly. So that'll come directly to my inbox. As soon as you guys fill that out, you know, you could just click the contact us button. It'll bring you all the way down to the bottom of the screen. You're gonna put in your first name, last name, business info, et cetera. Click contact me. It'll be in my inbox in the next few minutes. And then, uh, you know, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm definitely going to give you guys all a call. And then that's when we'll get some time on the calendar. Well, there you have it. I sh and this is the website. This is what it looks like when you guys click on the link that I put in the comments. Um, again, you can hit the contact us button or you can scroll and kind of see what, what they got on the website real quick. But the main thing is, you know, filling out your information right here. If you want to do a deep dive and learn more of how ADP can help you in your business, this is where you got to go. All right. I'm going to put the link back in the chat one more time for you guys. So I definitely want you guys to take advantage of these professionals um, that are willing to help you set your business up the right way. You know, there's a lot of things that's happening on the internet. And like I told you guys before, I want to start bringing in more corporations, more professionals, um, that can really help you, give you guys resources, right? And Christina and her team at ADP is a great um, resource. I'm not telling you that you, you have to use them. I'm just, rec I'm just telling you who I use, right? And you can make your decision if you want to work with them or not. And if you don't, then fine. And if you do, I'm pretty sure you're going to be happy and you're going to thank me later. Right? <laughs> <laughs> thank you later. Yep, exactly. We can, it's always, uh, it's free to have a conversation, right? So free to have a conversation with me and any of my team member team members that you need to learn you know more about but uh you know if it makes sense it makes sense if it doesn't then uh it's okay at least at least you learned yeah you know i gotta make both sense and that's the main thing both sense and sense all right we had another question up here uh let's see uh shauna says does adp charge clients a monthly fat flat fee or percentage of the number of employees payrolls process? I think you answered that already. Yes. Yeah. So it's really, if you are paying your employees monthly, it is going to be a base fee monthly, depending on the package you have. And then, you know, a few bucks per additional employee. Okay. There you have it. So look, we're coming up on time right now and you're, you're, you look like you're going back in the matrix again, too. <laughs> so I don't want to, I don't, I don't want you to go too much. It looks like it's no, going. No. Yes, yeah, look like it's going back in the matrix. But this has been a great episode. We've been on here for about forty-five minutes. Um, you've given a lot of information um, to for this. And again, you guys are going to be part of the master class on uh, November first and November second. So you guys go to mgmortgageacademy.com. Get your tickets for that. It's only nineteen bucks to join. Um, all the Academy members, this is a part of your membership. So don't worry, you'll have access to the replay if you can't make it live. But Christine, I want to give you an uh, opportunity before you go too much into the matrix with, with the Wi-Fi right now. 
Um, some parting words from you and ADP. Yeah, well, number one, definitely uh, be sure you sign up for the class on November 2nd. Number two, make sure you fill out your information on that link if you want me to reach out to you tomorrow. And third of all, thanks for having me. I'm super you know, glad we got to hop on here today and educate some of your followers. And uh, you know, super excited to uh, connect with them one-on-one -on -one and make sure they are set up correctly and setting up rolling as a business owner. I'm well, super honored I was able to come on here and uh, thanks for all the hearts and gems. Now, I love that. You just mentioned something too. Are you able to look at, say if they are working with uh, a current payroll system or any type of back office and they want to kind of compare what they had compared to what um, ADP can offer, you can kind of give like a second opinion analysis to just make sure they set up properly? Exactly, let's compare and contrast. You know, we'll connect. What are, what are you doing with X, Y, and Z payroll provider? What do you like about them? What do you not like about them? All right, here's what we can offer and here's how we can help. And then of course we can compare and contrast pricing as well. Dope, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I like that. I think if you're running your business, I'm telling you what I use. Um, I, I love ADP. I have nothing but good things to say about them because I've been using them for payroll for me and my businesses. And we use them pretty much for all of the businesses that we have. And I, we've never had a hiccup with direct deposits, anything. So shout out to ADP. And thank you guys for sponsoring the masterclass. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. We're going to have a lot of people on there getting this information. So I'm going to put the link in the chat one more time. So again, guys, make sure you connect with um, Christina over at ADP. Click the link that's in the live chat or the description of this video if you're watching this on the replay. If you're watching this live, I just put the link in there several times. Christina is great. Angela Grant said Christina is great as well. I work with her. Angela, I work with her. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Angela Grant. Right? Mm. She's, she's a walking testimony right there. There she is. Thanks. We needed that. <laughs> Great closing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, has uh, Angela, you had a question. You said, has the time passed to become an Academy member? No. Go to mgmortgageacademy.com. Join today. Join today. $99 one-time membership fee, and you get access to all my master classes, previous classes, and future classes as well. Or you, if you don't want to join right now, you just want to take this master class that I have on the 1st and the 2nd of November, you can pay 20 bucks and you could join that and be a general admission. You won't have access to the replay though, but at least you get to watch it live. Okay. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for joining. Make sure you guys smash that like button, throw some gems and some hearts in the, com in the comment section. Um, somebody said, is ADP hiring? Well, that's a good question. Is ADP hiring? I mean, I think we're always hiring. Look on, look online. <laughs> Go online <laughs> and secure oh, and, and figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Go online and, and, and figure that out for yourself. But thank you, Christina, for joining <laughs> today. I really appreciate you. And um, matter of fact, we're going to just end this right now. We've been on this almost an hour. So I'm going to just end this live. Uh, go the link is in the live chat, and I'm going to put it in the description. This is Matt Garland, NMLS number 58700, better known as MG The Mortgage Guy. Peace.